Well, there's a new way that people might be trying to fool you into giving them money. They're always coming up with something. It's a scam where calls go straight to voicemail instead of causing your phone to ring. WSLS 10's Tommy Lopez shows us why experts say this could be more believable to some people because they might not be expecting it in this 10 News Crime Tracker report. We've all gotten them. Calls from telemarketers trying to sell us something, or worse, people trying to scam us. Many of us just hang up the phone or ignore the call altogether, but now that may not be an option. You have been selected for a week's vacation to Orlando, Florida, right next to Disney. It's a ringless voicemail. The technology sends the message straight to your voicemail box. Julie Wheeler with the Better Business Bureau says it's been popping up in the last few months. It's still in its infancy, which is always when it's the most dangerous. It's also dangerous, she says, because people might more easily believe a voicemail that says a warranty is expiring or someone's won a prize. So now you're going to maybe you're going to listen to it and think that it is something you need to take care of. Scammers and telemarketers are trying to circumvent the 1991 law that prevents people from using automatic dialing with pre-recorded messages unless someone agrees to receive it. So this is getting around that, or they say it's getting around it because they're not actually calling your phone, they're just leaving you a message. This voicemail tactic allows users to put out a lot of calls without breaking the law. The FCC hasn't made a decision on whether this strategy is legal. I think it'll be challenged. Um, I think at this point maybe they're investigating but haven't made a ruling. Some experts think it's an okay idea because a voicemail is less intrusive than a phone call. Others say that worries over believability and voicemail boxes filling up mean the government should make it illegal. In Roanoke, Tommy Lopez, WSLS 10.